Hello farmers and welcome back to Hazard County, Georgia. We're down at the store. It is kind of early morning, second day of spring, uh, about 9.30. And our bank account, we have about a half million dollars. And the reason we have a half million dollars, that is all I could borrow at the moment. And uh, we're about to spend it all. Probably, well not all of it, uh, probably just shy of $100,000. But we have money sitting around. Uh, we'll get that in a second. We are down here because... We're about to buy another tractor sooner than I wanted to, but really it's probably the best business decision that we can make right now. We have three fields. The problem is we have no more work to do in our fields at all. Um, not until the grass has grown to be mowed, which I don't have money to, well, I don't have mowers yet. And the other two fields is wheat and oats. So really nothing to do in those fields until fall. So what do we do for the next eight, not well, actually, let's see, it's four, ten. We'll just say 11, 12 days. I got nothing to do, really. So I got to do work in other people's fields in order to bring money in. We currently have our Dutes Fire. Uh, he is plowing. Uh, he's been plowing quite a bit today. Uh, but he is over in field 113. I'm sure he's he's going to get stuck quite a bit. Uh, there's a whole bunch of trees in here. And I can kind of tell by the way he's doing something weird down there. I don't know what he's doing. Uh, let's go down and take a visit. What, 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 are, you, what are you doing there, sir? Yep, I really don't have a clue of what you're... I, I really don't know what they're doing. Um, I, I left the lines on course play so I could see where he should be, where she should be. And really, you're following... I don't see a line where you're supposed to be coming across here like that. So, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, we'll get back to him. I'm pretty sure... He'll get stuck here in a minute. Anywho, <laughs> we're going to come in here. Large tractors. Uh, 400 horsepower is really what I need. One, uh, for a decent sized cultivator, we need 400 horsepower. Two, our seed drill also requires 400 horsepower. So why are Dutes fires out plowing other people's fields? There's going to be seeding contracts coming up. It's spring. People are going to want their fields seeded. So it's time to get another big tractor. Our John Deere is not going to quite cut it. Um, there was two tractors I was looking at. Yeah, I was looking at the T8, but I decided to go with the Massey Ferguson. Um, really, they're almost the same price no matter what I do for configuration. Horsepower is going to be pretty much the same. Uh, so, yeah, rim color, let's get this over with because uh, breast cancer awareness month. That's why we're going with the pink kind of a thing going on here. Horsepower, 462. Yes, please. Uh, wheel setup. Uh, you've been on this channel long enough. You know I like the wide tires with the weights. Never hurts. A GPS, uh, yes. In case I want to do course play. So that brings us up to two hundred sixty-three thousand dollars for this tractor here for a trap for the MF eighty-seven hundred. Gives us four hundred sixty-two horsepower. The T eight would give us the same exact horsepower there. Uh, the special paint scheme, if you will, adds a little bit. But uh, and GPS. So let's go ahead and. Buy our new Massey Ferguson. So there goes half the money that we did have. Yep, it is over there. All right. And now we're going to go in and disc arrows. And we're going to get this guy right here. Um, it's it's nice and wide, 16 meters. And as we know, these fields are pretty big on this map. Uh, they may not look like it when you're looking at the map PDA, but they are pretty big. Uh, the other thing with the modded one, this does go 16 miles an hour while it's cultivating 400 horsepower. I was looking at cultivators themselves. I was look, looking at uh, this right here. And yeah, we're kind of going to go with this. Rim color, we're going to go pink. And I think the main color... I mean, do we match the Massey Ferguson? Why not? Or... Yeah, why not? We'll do it that way. Uh, so I spent an extra seven hundred fifty dollars for painting. So there goes one hundred ten thousand dollars out the window. So that leaves us with one hundred twenty three thousand dollars. And yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and take care of. I yeah, I don't know what this. Yeah, I, I don't know what he's trying to do here. Uh, I give credit for course play. You know, at least figuring out a pattern here. But uh, I was going to get to in a second what I've been doing. Am I going to get out of this? All right, let's just, you know, peanut, fold it up. Uh, no, 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 you're stuck on a tree, apparently. All right, there we go. 
All right, so I don't know. You left off. You're supposed to finish this side of the field and then go over to the other side of the field. I don't know where you left off, so let's go over and see what you were doing. Now, at one point, you can see this line here. It's supposed to crisscross. My guess is it was supposed to follow this line. Yes. Okay, so you were here. You were supposed to cut across the field like this. Man, you're going to get stuck in here quite a bit, aren't you? Um, I mean, I'm going to try to let this guy finish. Uh, but it could be a little bit of a problem. We do have some low-lying water over here, it looks like. A little bit of flood water. Uh, can you lower down here? I will do this little section of the field here. then you're supposed to go like this I I was going to try to set up do a couple of headlands first but the way this field is I think it would have gotten confused but we'll go ahead and we'll rip through this little edge here until it gets away from this fence post now I have been well yeah, not nearly I have been uh, course play has been rather busy today I have two other jobs, contracts that I have finished, and I didn't accept uh, that they're they're completed yet. So I do have some money coming in, some contracts already. I think this job is paying like eleven thousand dollars ish, and the other two contracts I think pay like seventeen and nineteen somewhere in that area. So yes, that's what I was saying before. We do have some money sitting around, and when we get back up to the main farm with a new tractor and cultivator all right i think you're kind of okay to go for a while hopefully all right so if we go into contracts here you can see this one's active yeah it pays eleven thousand dollars we're 12 percent done so here's a contract field 47 plowing nineteen thousand five hundred let's collect that please and here's another one for field 85 for 17 132 let's go ahead and collect that and that leaves that one there all right, so hopefully he does not get stuck for a while. Can I go back to the shop? Actually, I'll just hop right into our Massey Ferguson. Wow, that's a big cultivator. All right, so we are going to hook this up, and we are going to accept a contract for cultivating. Start getting some of our cash back. Uh, hopefully it's still there. So field 72 and 73. This is the next part of the land I would like to buy for the farm. So... I want to make sure these fields are on the up and up. So 73 right here for 8,000. We'll go ahead and accept that contract. Um, I don't think there's any other contracts for 72. I'm at the wrong page. Uh, 72. Let's go ahead and see if I can find 72. There's 71. And no. So that's all we have for now. Let me go ahead and change the settings on this as well. And that way it's not always in our, in our face. Yeah, great demand. Uh, so our subsoiler that we have, um, I'm not going to sell it just yet. I'm going to wait the rest of the day. Part of me thought I should take that up and see if that would work. Then I'm thinking, well, I already got a plow because that subsoiler is not considered a plow. So I already got a plow. I said, you know, if I got to buy, why have, I'll just, yeah. What I'm trying to say is buy a cultivator, which, or, or this caro, that's going to be like twice as wide, and that can probably go twice as fast, and then I can just turn around and sell that subsoiler and just call it a day. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Uh, this sub, uh, this caro does look awfully big, but really, for the fields that we have, it is, but for the contracts we're going to do, probably not. And it will allow us to rip through our fields in a hurry. And the field that we're about to do also in a hurry. Well, faster. <laughs> that field that field does not look big on the map, but when you get there, you're going to see how, how big of a size it actually is. Looks like the rain is starting to come down. But the good news in the forecast is it's not going to rain for too long. So as long as I don't get any messages that are... Dutzfar is getting stuck in some trees down there. He'll finish that contract up for 11000 
Now, I did look and I, I didn't think of it when I bought the John Deere. So the mowers I want, it's right on the limit of the horsepower of the John Deere. So I'm hoping, I mean, that, that land is kind of on flat land. It does have a little bit of incline one way. So it's not too bad. So the mower does, it, you know, require 160 and the John Deere is 164. So I'm hoping the John Deere can go ahead and mow that while these... So, like, when we mow that field in a couple days' time, uh, you know, our new Massey Ferguson and Dutzfar can be out doing some contracts, bringing in the cash. Because, our, like I said, our three fields, we have no animals yet. So, I, I do need to do a lot of contracts because now what you see is what I can borrow, 160. But actually, probably since I bought a tractor and another piece of equipment, it might be that I could borrow some more money because the farm is actually, quote-unquote, worth more. Which sounds kind of weird. Um, but yeah. So we are going up to field 73. And there should be a road. Um, there's actually a lot of roads here. Where do I actually want to turn up to get to 70? Oh, I probably wanted to turn up before our grass field. Um, that's okay. We'll come up to here at the edge of our field 100 and turn. And going up through there. So there's our wheat field. And then our oak field. Um, yeah, nothing growing yet, but if I think we looked at the, uh, put on the field, it does say it's germinating, so that's a good thing. Uh, so this road, that does not look like a road. It looks like a guy's driveway. Um, all right, well, pardon me, sir. I'm just going to drive through your hedges here. Drive around your garage. and back up here so these would be the fields that we were looking at so here's field 72 and 73 if i go to lands uh yeah it's just shy of three hundred thousand dollars so it's rather cheap in a way which is good so here's here's field 72 makes our fields uh you know look like a crumb and then here is field 73 so let's go ahead since we are here to cultivate anyways There, that's looking like it's going to get the job done rather quickly, hopefully. Don't tell me I don't have access to the land. I better have. There we go. So, yeah, this uh, implement does require 400 horsepower. We got 462. So as long as I don't do nothing on steep hills, we should be fine. And now we just need to do some more contracts for the rest of the spring. Because um, like I said, yeah, we don't really have nothing, anything to do in our fields. Just have to make sure about the weeds. And it's going to take me a while to learn how to do weeds and seasons. Is that part? I, I think that's part of field 73 right there. I think. Is it? Or is it not? Or is that part of the other field? Um, no, it's part of the other field. Okay, the, my, my divide is... Right there. All right. I knew that. Uh, just want to make sure you guys knew that. That's all. Yeah, so hopefully now with another big tractor, um, we can kind of do multiple contracts, or at least when I want to do work somewhere else, I can have a worker doing another field somewhere. Just help bring the money in. Because, yeah, we're going to need it. Um Probably with the amount of that we got borrowed, our loan interest is going to be somewhere around twelve thousand dollars at midnight. I will try to pay off much as long as I can at midnight. So if we got any bit of cash, I'll go ahead and dump it in there. So I need at least do one to two contracts per day, and that should help pay off the loan interest. But obviously, I would love to do at least three contracts a day to bring in some extra cash to help pay off some of the loan and. Really, what we need to be doing is like probably four to five contracts a day so I can bring in some more money because we are going to need to buy some more stuff. Uh, we would like to buy some sheep in a couple days, which also means we're going to need a <laughs> we're going to need the mowers. We are going to need I, I assume we're going to go with a baler and bale it instead of a loading wagon. Uh, the thing is with a baler is, of course, you know, you can make bales and put it in storage. A loading wagon. Uh, I can, you know, 
pick up the hay off the field, but then where do I store it? That's the thing. And yeah, I know I can use silos, modded silos to put hay in, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to just make bales and put it into that red barn. That way we have some bales to give our sheep later on. So yeah, we're going to need a whole bunch of cash. So the good news is I didn't make myself go dry. So we got $160,000. We are going to get some money back by selling that subsoiler. I don't remember how much that goes for, but it's got to be up near hundred grand. I use it for more than a half hour already, so I'm not going to get my full money back. But yeah, I'm noticing with this disc harrow, uh, the working speed is 16 miles an hour, but you can see coming up that little bit of an incline, I couldn't reach max speed. That's, that's fine. We're going to, you know, it's wider than all the other cultivators and being a modern one, it does go even at 14, 13 up that little hill it's faster than any other cultivator. Anyways. Yeah, see, it's kind of slow on the turnaround, but that's what you would expect. We are on the edge of horsepower. Now, I was looking at the big buds. Uh, but the one thing I'm, i got to remember with the big buds is they don't have three-point linkages. But you can buy the dolly that has a three-point linkage. And put it on there. And then the big bud can do anything. But then again, it makes it kind of art, like an articulated kind of a system. And I'm like, uh, I'm not good with articulations whatsoever. And what I'm doing here is just doing a couple of headlands to give myself some room to turn around here. Yeah, but I could not pass up getting a cultivator to do some of these jobs. Like, a, like you saw, this is paying a decent amount of money. Matter of fact, I think this contract pays enough that it would help pay out the loan interest. So I'm not in no rush to buy the harvester and stuff like that because we don't need it until the fall. So we're just going to wait until fall to actually buy things when we actually need it. And I'm not really one for leasing stuff. So sometime late summer, uh, just before harvest time, we'll go ahead and buy our combine. I already have one picked out, but I'm thinking by the time we get ready for our, to, for our first harvest uh, on Seasons, the Class DLC will be out. But I've already picked out the harvester I want to use, so I'll probably have to use some class, the class harvesters somewhere else. Uh, it's not going to stop me from getting like a class tractor, I do believe, and, and other equipment on here. Now, for sure, I can go on modded sites in order to get class tractors and whatnot. But I'm just going to wait out for the, for the, um, I almost said premium edition, uh, it's a platinum edition. Am I stuck on a tree, or is it, is it just because, yeah, not stuck on anything. It's just the horsepower requirement. We're on the edge. We're pushing this Massey Ferguson on the first day, on his first job, to the edge. So the mowers I got are the standard, uh, I think they're Pottingers, that uh, you can put a swath down the middle, kind of like the Big M does. And that's the good thing about them. I don't want to go ahead and buy the big M because, well, it's one, it's expensive. Two, we don't really have a big enough field to do so yet. I mean, it's not going to take us long to mow that little grass field that we have. Uh, the sheep are not expensive. Good thing. Um, I don't know how many sheep we're going to get just yet. You know, I would like to start off with at least five or six course I am going to buy a trailer because in the future I would like to expand to other animals and of course at some point I probably will have to sell some of the sheep because as they get older they're not going to produce as well and um, I don't want them keeling over in my pen I'd rather turn around and sell them for some cash rather than <laughs> dying in our pen if it comes to that well, like I always say, animal trailers in hindsight are not that expensive. At least we're not uh, going as far in debt as we did on the Pacific Northwest and trying to recover from that. But I'm also hoping in the fall I do enough contracts, which, as you can see, I'm going to try to do some contracts off camera. 
but I won't complete them so you can see me actually, you can see what kind of jobs I did and how, you know, where the money is coming from. But yeah, definitely want to get a second big tractor. I'm hoping that the Massey Ferguson will be doing the seeding and the Dutes Farr will be doing cultivating and plowing. Right now, there was only one sewing job and I think it paid like 7000 But what I need to do is empty out our seed drill and make sure I get rid of all the fertilizer out of the seed drill because you're not really getting paid to fertilize a field with the seed drill. I'm kind of liking this in season so when, it, when it's raining we're just getting like a light rain today which is nice. Uh, I would like to see the, the temperature start to get up a little bit warmer, but we are, we are only in the second day of spring, and we are playing six days per season. So when we get done with this job, we'll bring the cultivator back. Um, I really don't have any place to park all this stuff. I mean, we do have that red shed, but getting in and out of there is a little bit of a pain in the ass. You know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> pardon me. But yeah, it's a pain in the butt, and um, that's where we're going to hopefully load up our bales. Now, I also need to buy a front loader attack, uh, front loader for the John Deere. Uh, we're going to have to buy a bale spike. Um, or I could just buy the pallet fork. Uh, should I buy the I mean, because we're going to have sheep, so I, I'm going to need a pallet fork. I'd rather have a pallet fork than a bale spike. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, uh, but that's what we need there, and I probably should get a weight for the John Deere as well. Although that is a medium tractor, so I don't think the weight of the bales and the pallets are going to cause that much of a problem. They, they might, I don't know. And yet, we, like I said, we haven't bought a trailer yet. Animal trailer. Combine. Uh, the list goes on and on. Well, we do have a fertilizer spreader. I don't have anything for weeds yet, but... I gotta get a good idea how the weeds actually go. I think I might just get the herbicide sprayer like we had on Mercury Farms and kinda I think we got one on the Pacific Northwest for the upper plateau. It's not that I think it was like sixty thousand dollars and being a modern one doesn't use that much herbicide. And the good news is, I'm right next to a station that I can just go down the road, just I mean literally right like right next door and fill up with herbicide and really I'm only there to do my fields um, if other farmers contracts come up to where they want me to spray their fields it wouldn't be that bad really but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, keep on making some passes up and down here and I'll bring it back in just a little while and uh, the good news is I'm not seeing anything on the dudes far down there so I assume he's getting along okay <laughs> Or he went to McDonald's and uh, is having lunch. So uh, give me this a little while here. Probably I'll bring it back. I'll be on the other side of the trees. And uh, hopefully it's still morning hours maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it'll be after 12. But I'll see you in a bit. Being alone with my thoughts for a few minutes here. Uh, cultivating that field. and Well that side of the field. Not over here. Oh, I just fixed you like two seconds ago, dude's far. <sighs> Anyways, uh, he can sit there and spin his tires for a minute or two, because we're almost done here. Uh, wait, how did I miss that spot? Is it because of the bump? Can I not get down that far? Uh, I'm kind of riding over it. Uh, it should be fine. Um, anyways, yeah, I got the wrong implements on the wrong tractors. Meaning this, so this cultivator, like we talked about earlier, or excuse me, disc harrow, uh, requires 400 horsepower, and I got it on a tractor that's at 462 horsepower, which is fine. But we're not getting the full uh, optimization off of this cult, uh, disc harrow. You know, I'm just going to call the cultivator a little bit. Uh, so we're not getting, our, we're not getting the, what this fully what this can do because uh, going uphill, we're we're slowing down a little bit. The plow only requires 250 horsepower-ish, uh, somewhere in there. I, I looked at it quickly. So I should put the plow on the Massey Ferguson. That way I'm like 200 horsepower over. And the cultivator on the Dutzfire Series 9. And that will be like 300 horsepower over. So I should be getting the most out of my implements, if that makes any sense. 
So, yeah, I want to bring this uh, cultivator back to the farm once we get done here, which is pretty darn soon. And we'll drop off the cultivator and we'll just wait for the Dutes Fire to go ahead and finish that job. Now, now I'm getting the message that he's slipping. Uh, before, I was just curious. I'm like, boy, I haven't got no messages from the Dutes Fire. He must be pretty much almost done. So I checked on the map and I'm like... Um, I don't think you're going anywhere. And I zipped down there, and sure enough, he was stuck on a tree. But I was not getting the message like we do now that he was slipping. So, yeah, there's that. So I went down there, had to plow a little bit myself around that field. That field is a little funky. So I did, you know, I didn't expect, of course, I mean, of course, Blake completed that field on his own. I would have been shocked. So this is going to be like the fourth time I think I've had to go down there and help it. Uh, twice before I started recording. And uh, once this now, and I'll have to go back down there again. But I should be getting a message here pretty darn soon that we are done with this contract. Or it came up and I wasn't paying attention. But we'll finish it off anyways. So yeah, I need to swap around these implements on the tractors. The problem is the Dutes Fire is way down south. It's like, not the furthest field down south, but it's down there. Uh, the good news is it's right on the main strip. So it's not going to take long to come on back to the main farmland and swap out implements here so right now he's just the only thing I'm losing right now because I'm not paying my course play workers uh, I'm just burning diesel fuel and def fuel at the moment and putting hours on my engine which means it's going to need to be repaired sooner than it should but that's you know it's all fine uh, contract on this field is finished now like I said field 72 and 73 I want to keep a close eye on I want to make sure these fields are well maintained as possible because these are the fields I would like to buy when harvest time comes, I hope and fingers crossed that uh, when it comes time to sowing these two fields, if I get the contract, that it's not a root crop slash cotton slash sugar cane. Um, I needed something that can be done with a regular combine harvester. So yeah, let's just keep our fingers crossed. Uh, there is a lot of root crop that can be grown on this on this map. Now the only thing I have. I kind of looked into is I've done carrots and onions before. I had not done the cabbage before. Now look quickly. Uh, I do see the uh, root crop harvester itself can accept the red and red cabbage and regular cabbage. But I have not found a header in the shop that cuts the red cabbage and regular cabbage. Is it cabbage and lettuce or is it red cabbage and just regular cabbage? Uh, either way, I haven't found a header that does either one yet, so... Um, yeah, there's that. So, I do have headers that do the carrots and the onions because I was doing that on Hawks Bay. So, those should be all set to go. And I'm doing the rest of this field just because. I know the contract's done on it. But right now, I just have just enough money really to buy our animal trailer um, buy the vehicle that's going to haul the animal trailer uh, the mowers as well I got enough money for that and I don't really have money for a baler at the moment and I'm going to need some kind of now either I can just make the bales in the field and then have the John Deere pick up the bales and bring them back one by one to the barn because really it's just across the street or I can get a trailer and load the bales into the trailer and do that so that's something that we got to come up with later on uh, that should be like day 5 or 6 of spring because there's our grass field right there and the red barn is just down over the hill but now I need to go help out our dudes fire because he's having some issues This disc harrow is actually kind of nice. It's not, it's not top top heavy like that plow is. For somebody who's pulled that plow over, it always wants to. Uh, when you take a corner with it, it, just wants to tip over the tractor. Here's our nice little speed bump I put down. Uh, yeah, I really don't have many places to park my equipment. I'm running. I really don't have the room for most of this stuff. And really, probably turning. This is going to sit outside. I would assume, for now. And we're just dropping that off because the Dutes Fire is going to take over for that. And, I mean, do I... Uh, yeah, let's just... Let's just hitch up to it and... 
Uh, first off, you got to line up to it, Peanut. That would help. Or maybe it wasn't back up far enough. There we go. Because if you look at that, I mean, if I could cultivate with that, that's not as wide as what we're using. So I might as well just come up here, drop that off, uh, come in here, activate. Can I sell? No, repair it for how much? 23 bucks? All right, that's, that's fine. And looks like it's worth 80000 so that's not too bad. There, that looks a lot better. Uh, let's just turn that off there. We will come in here and scroll up to here. Let's get this uh, $8,000 for that job. And now let's head on down to... Yeah, he didn't get that far. Where... Where, where, where are you? Yeah, I should have done a couple headlands here, but I don't know how course play would do headlands when the field is kind of separated like that. I mean, the only way I'm going to know is I should have just tried it. So it is what it is. And you know what? It might be just easier at this point if I just went ahead and finished this job myself. Yeah, because he only did, he only did one pass and got stuck. I mean, how much more? Actually, it is quite a bit more, but <laughs> uh, it probably won't take me too long. So, what I'm probably gonna do myself is, um, yeah, well, probably I'm gonna let this guy try to do it. One, uh, see, there's just trees everywhere. I should have just done do headlands on some of these fields and see if it can figure it out. Uh, I don't think I could figure it out. Well, if I were doing it manually, it wouldn't be a problem. I'd do a couple of headlands and just zip around. But I know he wouldn't get around that tree. Yeah, so probably I'll have to finish this field myself. It's not that much more with this plow here. Not that much more. But in the future, the Massey Ferguson will take over the plowing jobs. Like I said, this plow only, only requires about 250 horsepower. And uh, yeah, this will start dragging the disc harrow around because that seems, that this just makes more sense for us. Um, I'll be able to optimize the, the implement much better than what we were in that field there. Although the Massey Ferguson wasn't struggling too much. I mean, I was losing a couple miles an hour here or there. So it's not like I was dragging it down that much. But, you know, let's, let's do it so uh, we can get more contracts done. So, yeah, we're up to a quarter of a million dollars, kind of. Um, depends on how you want to look at it. But the good news is we do have enough cash right now to obviously pay the interest off at midnight. And in a couple days, buy some mowers, uh, a sheep, animal trailer. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have a pickup truck. And, uh, yeah, we... You know what pickup truck I'm going with. Uh, to haul the animal trailer around, that's what we're going to kind of do. So, you know, we're looking at spending probably all that $250,000 we got just for doing that. So I need to be doing contracts from now until then to keep bringing in the cash. Like I said many times over, that's what we're really here for, doing contracts now. That's why we, that's why we had to buy another tractor today. Um, it's the only way we're going to get more money rolling in. I'll get that money back rather quickly doing some contracts there are some pretty big fields hanging around here but that is going to do it for today guys hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode I do appreciate you watching as always and I'll catch you next time on Hazard County Georgia but until then have a good one